Let's look at the conventional way of mining heterogeneous networks. Here we have a heterogeneous academic network that consists of multiple types of nodes and relationships, such as authors, their affiliated organizations, published papers, and publication venues. Given this network, we can consider various network mining tasks, such as predicting node attributes, detecting or clustering communities, and searching for similar nodes. Traditionally, these problems are solved in a two-step process. In the first step, one identifies and extracts structure-based network or graph features, such as metapaths. This step corresponds to the feature engineering process in heterogeneous networks, which usually requires domain knowledge and expensive computing. In the second step, one usually needs to design specific data mining and machine learning models to capture these handcrafted features. Inspired by recent advances in word embedding and natural language processing and homogeneous network embedding, we define the problem of feature learning in heterogeneous networks. Formally, we define the problem as follows. The input is a heterogeneous information network. The output is a latent feature vector learned for each node. The goal is to allow the learned feature vectors to automatically capture internal relations from rich, complex, abstract heterogeneous network systems. With the learned latent features, we can apply general data mining methods for the heterogeneous network mining tasks described earlier. Network heterogeneity presents unique challenges that cannot be handled by previous representation learning models that have been specifically designed for homogeneous networks. In this work, we propose two representation learning models, Metapath to VEC and Metapath to VEC++. These two models can account for both the semantic and structural correlations in heterogeneous networks. Let's see an example of learning a heterogeneous network embedding for academic networks. Here we have 16 top computer science venues in various subdomains and their corresponding high-profile authors. The venues and authors represent two different types of nodes. By visualizing the latent representations of these two types of nodes with our Metapath to VEC++ model in two-dimensional space, we can observe that the model is able to automatically organize these two types of nodes and implicitly learn the internal relationships between them, as shown by the similar directions and distances of the arrows connecting each author venue pair. These properties are not discoverable with conventional network embedding models that are designed solely for homogeneous networks. Here's another example of 48 computer science venues, three each from 16 subfields. After mapping their latent representations learned by Metapath to VEC++ into a two-dimensional space, we can see that conferences from the same domain are grouped together, with each group well separated from the others. This demonstrates the powerful embedding ability of Metapath to VEC++. The heterogeneous embeddings can also reveal the similarities across different domains, including the core computer science cluster at the bottom right, covering topics such as theory, systems, architecture, security, and software. At the top right, we can observe the Big AI cluster, which includes artificial intelligence, natural language processing, machine learning, data mining, information retrieval, and computer vision. For technical details in the open source data and code, see our paper in KDD 2017 for more information. Thanks for watching.